The last number, 20, on our flight plan asks us to uh, calculate out our compass heading. So that is the last thing missing on our navigation log. Magnetic heading plus or minus the compass deviation gives us our course heading. This is a picture of the compass in the airplane. And you'll notice that there's some numbers on the top and the bottom. Well, this is the correct for the magnetic disturbances caused by the avionics stack. Up at the top, it says for 120, you need to steer 121. So it's saying you'd need to add one degree to, to create your course heading. If you wanted to fly 150 degrees, you really need to steer 151 degrees. So for our flight plan, the heading we want is somewhere in between there. But either way, it looks like we need to add one. So our compass deviation is going to be plus one. So our actual course heading, which you're really, really going to steer, will be 149 for the climb, and then plus one, 147 for the cruise portion. And we should be able to maintain 147 until we're about halfway there. And then it's going to switch a little bit because the winds change halfway there. So by the time we get around Newberry, our magnetic heading was 143. We add plus 1 because of the compass deviation, and we have 144 that we should end up steering the rest of the way to Columbia. Now this portion of our navigation log is complete.